everybody. Welcome back to the Firefly Studio. This is Gina. I thought today we would um, create some little embellishments. It's been a while since I've been on, and I apologize for that. Um, one of the ladies that I follow, you probably all know her. Her name is Eva, and she is the Bohemian Crafter. She is the inspiration behind this little embellishment. So I want to give her credit. This is what we're going to make today. They're just little embellishments that you could add anywhere in the journal. If you want it to hang off the page, you could do that. Now she created these with some leftover uh, leather scraps. And when I saw it, I just fell in love with it. I just thought it was just gorgeous. So I've just tweaked it with the supplies that I've got uh, using paper because I don't work with leather but uh, today I'm just we're going to work around with these and I'm going to do one a little bit different because I feel like that's just a little bit too big so we're going to tweak this slightly but that gives you an idea of what we're going to work on okay so let's just get started this is great for using up scrap pieces sorry I'm just getting a drink of my tea um, you know, after we cut out our pockets and things from digitals, you've always got loads of scraps uh, left over. Little offcuts and things. This is a great way to use those, and that is what I've done. But I've went ahead and cut these ahead of time, just for time's sake. And what I've done is I've just taken some of my shapes and run this through the big shot. If you don't have a big shot, you know, maybe you've got uh, little templates that you could, you just want something that's got a little bit of a, you wouldn't want just a square, but then again, you could, you could just use a square, you could tear it and just have it completely random that, that way as well. But um, I'm gonna just do this shape here to start. Like I said, I'm going to be playing with these today and get a few more of these made up for some journals I'm working on. I've got a load of journals um, that I am trying to complete, and um, this will be great if I can get a few more of these made up as well. And at the end, stay, hang in to the end of this, and I'm going to share with you a journal that I'm working on right now, so you'll get a little sneak peek of that one. All right, so this is, in my mind, I'm thinking this would be really nice at the top of a page, and I would glue it down and just have that as a little tuck spot. So that's probably how I would do this one, and then I am just going to ink this up. Now what I did, um, in case you're new, to get that texture you need an embossing folder. So I'm sorry I didn't say that. You need to, after you've cut out your shape, then run it through an embossing folder so that you get that bit of texture. If you don't have that, you could always use um, corrugated paper. Sorry, I was trying to show you. Um, you can take boxes and pull them apart. Just anything that gives you some extra texture. So, you know, don't ever feel like you've got to have the supplies that you see. You can always look around, and I'm sure you'll find something that uh, will work. So this one I'm going to stamp hello. Just going to position that somewhere and then because I feel like that's just a little bit too big I'm going to use a tiny heart and have that be the dangle because I think that would be really pretty hanging over the side of a, um, a journal. <clears throat> the other thing I've got is a little bitty stamp here. That I've just I've had this for years and years, and I've just run across it. 
uh, yesterday, and I'm obsessed with this stamp now because I absolutely love the image. And I know you're going to ask me, but I am sorry, guys. This was an unbranded. Isn't that pretty? How tiny and delicate. This was an unbranded stamp that I have had for years, so I am sorry, guys. I cannot um, point you in the direction of where I even got that stamp. Don't you hate it when you um, <clears throat> somebody does a tutorial and you're like desperate to get your hands on that uh, one of the supplies? Then they tell you, "Oh, I bought this years ago. It was retired or something." <laughs> I know how annoying it is, guys, so I do apologize for that, but it's happened to all of us. So I'm just going to put a tiny little hole here to run. I always save my little off cuts of my uh, linen thread, too, So, because for projects like this, it just works perfectly. Okay, so I think that's everything that we're going to need for at this point so I'm just now going to glue this on here if you want to add some lace to it you could I just like um, the simplicity of it and I could always add to this once it goes into a whichever journal but I think I'm going to just keep them very plain and then I can add according to whatever style I'm doing the journal in. I don't tend to mass make embellishments. I should, I know I should, but I just have found it doesn't really work for me. When I get into the, um, the zone of my journals, I just tend to, to make each embellishment specific to that. Now that's not to say I don't duplicate because I do. Um, it's just, I've tried to do stuff in bulk ahead of time, and it, it's just not, it doesn't work for me. I know it does a lot of other folks, and that's great, but I can't get on with it personally. All right. I just, I just thought these were the sweetest thing when I saw it. Um, and it's just the sort of thing I needed right now because I'm trying to get out of a funk. Um, and little by little, I'm slowly getting there. Just going to tie that off. Uh-oh, I didn't do that. Okay, let me knot that again so that doesn't slip through. Um, so yeah, this is the sort of project, you know, when I've got a block... This kind of pulls me out because it you don't have to think too much with this sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, I managed to get a couple of journals made, and that always makes me feel better when I feel like I've accomplished something. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm still here. I'm just having trouble with this string. I. I think I should have tied that differently, but anyways, it's done. I've got a little bit of, this is old Stampin' Up! Um, glitter paper. I don't know if they even still do this anymore, but I love it because it's, um, it's not messy. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I know I haven't been on a lot lately. Um, I, I went back home. I don't know if I've said that in my last video. So if I'm repeating myself, I do apologize. Um, but I did get to go back home and check on everybody. and So uh, that's part of the reason I haven't been on here. But... <clears throat> 
lots of things happening that I've had to deal with, so that's where I've, I've been, you know. Okay, I've got... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. These are little cutout roses from... Can you see that? Her shop. <laughs> I never even try to pronounce that anymore because it's just... I just can't. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys really quick because um, I know somebody will ask me. So I'm going to have to fussy cut this out, guys, so I'm sorry about that. You will have to sit just a moment. But what I did, I printed these out too, as you can see, um, just to get them a little bit smaller. This was one of the first shops I ever found when I started, and... Um, she makes the most amazing greeting cards. Um, I keep thinking, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna get the things and and make, you know, a few cards to have in my stash, because I've I've depleted all my cards now, and um, and I just never get around to it. But oh goodness, does she make beautiful handmade cards? And that's so most of her items are geared towards um, card making. Uh, but yeah, she's one of the first shops I ever found, and uh, and I do enjoy I enjoy what she makes. So I'm just going to put that there. And you could put some cheesecloth. Oh, I'll go ahead this time. I'll put a little bit of cheesecloth behind it. I said I wasn't going to embellish this one, but here I go. Because um, it would be nice to just. The rest of them I'll make up just plain so that they're ready. And then, because if it's not a shabby chic, I don't want to have everything made up. Because I, I want to get back and do a few more nature journals. It's been ages since I've done those. Uh, so that's why I want to have some of these blind. Okay, let me just get a little bit of this glue if I can. So yes, I guess everybody's probably now starting to think about, uh, well, Halloween's coming up, and then of course, Thanksgiving, but I don't really decorate anymore for the holidays, isn't that pathetic? I do at Christmas, I do the tree, but everything else, it's kind of like, what's the point? Nobody's here to see it, you know? So I just kind of gave up on it. Um, and of course with the COVID this year, I don't think there'll be even any trick-or-treaters. So it's such a shame because the little the, the kids have gotten into trick-or-treating over here. And um, I think I may have told you guys this. The last two years prior, they we had a, quite a few little trick-or-treaters come around. They were so sweet. Those kids were so respectful. It's like, they just reach in and take one little piece of candy, and then they'd say, thank you. And oh my gosh, it was so cute, because the last time I had um, did trick-or-treating in the U.S., I'm not joking, um, those kids would come in with a hand, their hand, and just take handfuls. It made me so annoyed. Um, that was the last year I did it. I thought, uh-uh, I am not. I, so it was such a contrast um, when the kids here, and I had so much fun with them. So it's a shame. I'm really sad we're not going to get to do it this year, but just the way it is. But anyways, enough. You don't want to hear all that. So, um, so there it is. Like I said, I love this one. I'm probably going to play around. Um, and tweak these slightly because that's just a little bit too big. I might even just remove that, I think, and put the heart under there. But I'm going to make use of these because I love that shape with the... Um... Oh, gosh, sorry guys, I'm burning up here. Um, 
Let me just see. I don't have another one cut. But I think what I'll do is take and put that on one that way and then also have the little heart hanging down from it. Oh, I do have one here. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and make it. Because I haven't been on here in a while. So I'll go ahead and make it up and see what we think about this. So yeah, it was really sweet, the little kids. So I'm, I really feel sad for the kids right now. They're missing out on so much with all of this going on. Um, so yeah, like I said, I just, uh, except for Christmas, we put the tree up at Christmas, but that's about it. So it's just not quite the same as it used to be, but nothing ever stays the same, does it? So, um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to colder weather. You know I love the cold weather, so that's going to be nice. to have that moving in. Okay, I think I'm going to put that one. I'm going to push that just a little bit too hard, but that's okay. Um, let's see what else will I need. I think that's going to be it. Ink this one up. We'll see how this comes out. Yeah, I was going to try to um, be home for Thanksgiving this year, but with the way everything, I was supposed to go back in April, and then I thought, well, the, you know, that would give me time to go back and be there at Thanksgiving, but um, it didn't uh, work out, so I had to go later. So now I'm going to miss Thanksgiving and Christmas with, with my family, so I'm bummed about that. But it just can't be helped, you know. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully next year I'll be back home. I'm really hoping, guys. I'm ready to go home. Really, I miss uh, Thanksgiving more than Christmas um, with with the kids because um, my son is in D.C. on his own, and I I don't like to think about him spending. My daughter's got you know every, the family nearby her, but um, yeah, I like that. That's I think that's pretty. I'm just going to snip that a little bit. Um, but yeah, my son, I don't like to think about him by himself on Thanksgiving. So I was hoping to be back there. But like I said, maybe next year, maybe next year I'll be able to be 
be back there in time. So, okay, so there it is, guys. Um, really quick, and like I said, I love the fact that it's another way to use up little bits of scrap. Let's see. Turn these over so you can see them a little bit better. And then this one, I can add whatever colors I want to when the time comes. And this one, I will definitely be tweaking that slightly. But I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it's given you some ideas on how you can, could do something, you know, maybe a little bit different. Okay, guys, I nearly forgot. I had promised to share with you um, my latest journal that I'm working on. Now, this is a journal that I am doing um, from start to finish, step by step, with my patrons on my patron channel. And the description, um, the link is in the description box below if you want to go and check out and find out what that is. Uh, what patron is, is uh, you decide what level that you want to contribute each month um, and that what that money does is it helps me to provide content um, on my patron channel and this is the sort of thing now this particular course is for the um, sparkling and flourishing levels which um, starts at ten dollars a month now you can cancel at any time so it's not like you're locked in but um, the reason I've decided to put this at that particular level is because, um, you know, this is my livelihood and I have never put together a course before, um, but I have been on many courses myself and I know that most of those courses um, that are out there are starting around $100. So I feel like that is fair because um, these are techniques that I have um, you know, through trial and error have come, you know, I've, I've got my own process, um, and like I said, that I've worked out through creating journals for several years now, so I think that that's um, very fair. So if you are interested, you can have a look on there. This journal is not done. This is, um, I've got three parts uh, that are up, well, actually, I've got three parts complete, but I haven't published all of those yet, so that's why I won't show you any more than just the cover. But this is just to give you an idea of uh, the sort of thing that is on my channel in case you are curious about it and wasn't really you know, sure what Patreon would offer. This is the sort of projects I do, small embellishment projects, but then I've got several series where we have started front to um, the finish of a journal and uh, so anyways I wanted to share that with you guys I'm hoping to have this ready uh, before long and once I do then I'll have a final flip through and this will um, be up for sale in my shop so anyways guys thanks for stopping by today take care of yourselves and I'll be back very soon bye